Hello and welcome to Rajshri Food. I'm Ruchi Bharani and in this episode I'm going to make bindi masala. This is a vegetable variety made out of okra. So let's take a look at the ingredients. 250 grams bindi or okra chopped into 1 inch pieces, one small onion cut lengthwise, one and a half tomato finely chopped, half teaspoon garlic paste, half teaspoon ginger paste, coriander leaves, salt to taste, half teaspoon mustard seeds, 1/4 teaspoon red chili powder. 1/4 teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon amchur or raw mango powder, half teaspoon garam masala, 1 teaspoon coriander and cumin seed powder and sesame seeds to garnish. 2 tablespoon oil. An important tip whenever you're using bindi or okra is to wash it thoroughly and dry it out on a napkin because the more moisture there is in the okra, it's going to become very sticky while cooking. Let's just cut off the heads and the tips a bit. and i'm just going to make a slit in the center so this okra cooks faster and just chop it in 1 inch pieces so that's how i've chopped my okra for this vegetable let's start cooking the vegetable first i'm going to add 1 tablespoon oil the oil is nice and hot and i'm going to add the mustard seeds i'm going to throw in the okra or bindi and stir it in toss them up well so that they are nicely coated with oil cook the okra on medium flame and just keep stirring or tossing in the middle so that they don't burn use a flat pan to cook your okra so that it has enough surface area and it cooks faster don't add any kind of salt or water or anything to cook it quicker it takes a little bit of time so simultaneously you can make the dry gravy for it so let's do that 1 tablespoon of oil some ginger paste garlic paste and the onions just saute this for 2 to 3 minutes i don't want the onions to be completely brown but just nicely cook The onions are translucent now and I'm going to add finely chopped tomatoes. Also I'm going to throw in the dry spices, turmeric powder, red chili powder, amchur or raw mango powder and coriander and cumin seed powder. After a couple of minutes I'm also going to add garam masala and salt so that my tomatoes cook quickly. Cook these tomatoes till they are nice and soft and make sure all the water is dried out as well. Also I'm going to throw in a little bit of coriander leaves for flavor. The okra is ready. It's shrunk in size as well as changed color. I'm just going to remove it in another bowl. The dry gravy is ready now and I'm going to add the okra and a little bit of salt. I've already added some earlier. And let's mix the two together. And the bindi masala is ready. Let's garnish it with a few sesame seeds. Personally I love okra and this variation is wonderful. Do try it at home and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.